Hi, and thanks for watching Two Tired Teachers. Today we're going to be talking about types or classifications of RVs. So you finally decided you think you might be interested in purchasing an RV, but you feel a bit overwhelmed by all the options that are out there. You're not really even sure what some of them are called. Hopefully this little video will help with that. I'm going to try and oversimplify things by saying that there are basically two types. There's the kind that you pull and they're the kind that you drive. So the kind that you pull, there is a tent trailer or pop-up, soft-sided. Uh, then there is an A-liner, which is also pop-up, but it's hard-sided. Something that's becoming very popular right now is called a teardrop. And it's basically inside is a bed and the back is just a little kitchen area. Another uh, step up from that perhaps is called an expandable. It looks a lot like a travel trailer, but it has usually bed areas that expand, which are also uh, canvas type material. Then there are travel trailers, and these can come in a variety of sizes from something as small as, say, around 11 feet to, I'm just going to make up a number here, probably 35 feet. And then finally, something that requires a different type hitch and actually a truck to tow is a fifth wheel. Those are the towable types of RVs. Then the types that you drive, I really don't know that much about, other than the fact that there are three basic categories, and they are called Class C, Class B, and Class A. Class C is the one that looks like it has a bed up over the cab area. I don't know the specifications for the lengths of those. Class B, I also have heard them called conversion vans. They're uh, size-wise, they're between Class A and Class C. And then finally Class A, which is the most expensive option and largest option, uh, is the motorhome that uh, is shaped a little bit more like a bus. Like I said, I'm trying to oversimplify things, but hopefully this will help you as you search for the type of RBV that might fit your needs. Again, thanks for watching.